Secretary Carlin, you have said that you can't give planes to them because they really need better air defense, end quote. We don't particularly think they need planes. They think they need planes. So are you saying the only reason that the Department of Defense is against providing these MiG-29s to Ukraine is that you know better than them what they need to defend themselves? Is that your only reason? Thank you for raising this issue, Senator Portman. I, I need to go quickly. Of course. Uh, I would say that we are trying to get Ukraine everything that it can use immediately in the field today. That is the priority. In, in, in your judgment. So your judgment uh, is overriding their judgment as to what they need, because they say they need airplanes. We have spoken closely with them. And to be frank, it is ultimately a sovereign decision for Poland. We are consulting. No, no, no. We, we have spoken closely with them also, including the president of Ukraine. So are, are you saying that that is the reason? Senator, I will convey all of your concerns back. No, no, I, just to answer my question, are you saying that is the reason that, you, that your judgment supersedes that of the Ukrainian military? I am not is, saying is, is, that. Is, that. is that the reason? I am saying that they have multiple squadrons that are mission Okay, so capable. you're saying that, that is, because the other reason I've heard is that somehow this would make Vladimir Putin upset if we were to send these weapons. In fact, we already are sending stingers and javelins, correct? And in fact, you just said that the air defense weapons are more effective, and that's what we should be sending. So you're saying that what we would like to send is something that's more effective, that therefore should offend Vladimir and Putin more Thank than, you for raising than, than, than the airplanes, correct? Thank and, you and for raising that. And you can't send airplanes. Senator. What's the logic behind that? Thank you for raising that, Senator. We are indeed providing the assistance that you highlighted, as have many of our allies. Uh, indeed, are you, there are, are you saying that you're concerned about uh, provoking Vladimir Putin? Isn't that one of your reasons? I think escalation considerations do need to factor into. So all you're saying of the you are you are escalating with with a weapon that you think is less effective than other weapons you would like to send them. How does that make sense logically? Our intelligence community has looked at this issue. I am more than willing to discuss it further in a classified session. But I do believe. Well, we that don't need a classified session. Here, here, here we are. You're saying the two reasons we're now learning is one that your judgment uh, is superseding that of the Ukrainian military, and two, you think that it's somehow more provocative, even though you are saying that you should be sending them and want to send them something you think is more effective in the field, that by definition would be something the Russians would be more concerned about, correct? We are giving them capabilities that they are using immediately. We are looking very closely at escalation. They, they, would, use, they would use this equipment immediately. Their pilots are ready to go. They're, they're, they're repairing airfields to be able to use it. They're willing to take off from highways. I mean, they, they, they want this right away. And again, I go back to what the chairman and ranking member have said about the situation. It is dire. We don't have time here. I mean, the maternity hospital you, you raised is an example that this is a deliberate bombing of a maternity hospital. We know that because Lavrov responded by saying, yeah, they sometimes they had militia there. And the bigger context is here, this is an ally of ours. This is a sovereign country. So it's okay for us to have Russia go in and, and bomb people and take all kinds of weapons in, but it's somehow not appropriate for us to help facilitate what Poland wants to do, and hopefully other countries as well. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate it. And to my colleague, Senator Rich, thank you for indulging me with giving me some of your time.